The WBC rules that Canelo Alvarez, if he fights in December, can have a voluntary defense and skip over a mandatory obligation with Jamal Charlo. Stay tuned. Boxing Ego here. If you like this video, make sure you hit the like button and also subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon on the top of your screen to get notified when the latest new content drops. One. What up, Fight World? It's your boy Ego, and I'm back with some more boxing. Make sure you smash the like button. Also, subscribe to the channel for the latest and greatest in boxing if you want to become part of the gang gang. Notification gang, please hit the bell icon. Shout out to the Super Chats channel, donations, the Venmo donations, and the Patreon family. We working. Now, very interesting news. Link in the description, ESPN Deportes. They have an interview with Mauricio Suleiman, who is the president of the WBC. Now, Canelo Alvarez, he had two wars with Golovkin. First one was a draw. Golovkin retained his titles. The second fight, Canelo beat Golovkin. It was a good fight. A lot of people had it close, but the judges gave it to Canelo Alvarez. So, with that comes the problems of the former champion, Gennady Golovkin. And Jamal Charlo has been doing everything the WBC has asked of him. And he fought an eliminator, I believe a second eliminator, with Hugo Centeno Jr., a fight I was at on the Broner versus Jesse Vargas card. And he knocked out Hugo Centeno Jr. brutally. It was like one of the knockouts of that card, like probably the craziest knockout on the card out of the televised fights. And he was supposed to be the person in line for the winner of Canelo Triple G. Now we know that person is Canelo, but we're we're running into some problems now because now the Mauricio Suleiman and the WBC, they're saying that they're going to allow Canelo Alvarez to have a voluntary defense of his choice. Meaning he doesn't have to fight Charlo. He could fight anybody like David Lemieux or whoever. I think that's the fight golden boy wants, right? No biggie. But in the article is saying that team triple G is going to request to rematch with Canelo Alvarez for a trilogy in 2019. Triple G's team already came out and said he's not coming back in 2018. So it looks like they're going to try to petition for a trilogy. I'm going to read the quotes and just give more of my thoughts. Mauricio Suleiman says, you have to review the mandatory classifications and fights of the 17 divisions. And there are some very complicated issues. One of them is the future of Canelo as middleweight champion. Jamal Charlo, who is an interim champion, has the right to face the official champion. We understand that maybe Canelo will make a defense in December and we will be addressing that particular issue. Suleiman, that's what he said to ESPN Deportes. He went on to say, we know that Gennady Golovkin is requesting a rematch. It has not been formalized, but his intention is to make a request and petition for that fight. And that has already been announced. But there's an issue of Jamal Charlo and the theme of the champion who will make a voluntary defense in December before making the mandatory in 2019, depending on the times that are given for that fight. Right. So let me break this down in layman's terms. The WBC, it sounds like, is going to allow for Canelo to fight anybody of his choice in December. Canelo was initially supposed to fight on the quote-unquote Mexican dates in Cinco de Mayo weekend in May and then in September. May clearly didn't happen because he tested twice positive for clenbuterol in two separate samples on February 17th, February 20th. That got his fight basically under hot water with Golovkin initially supposed to happen on Cinco de Mayo weekend and he was forced to withdraw he was then suspended for about six months he was a first-time offender so you know he just got a slap on the wrist no fine and he just fought Golovkin so he's only fought one time this year he and his team stated that you know if all goes well and the doctor says that Canelo can fight again after you know two wars with Golovkin and getting a cut over I think it was his left eye in the Golovkin rematch if the doctor approved him to fight in December, he would like to get a second fight in. So now the WBC, it sounds like they're going to allow for Canelo to face whoever he wants. So 
Golden Boys kind of tossed out the idea of David Lemieux. They've been, you know, kind of building for that fight for a while because they're both, it's an easy fight to make. They're both kind of with uh, Golden Boy. And they, you know, David Lemieux has fought on the Triple G2 undercard, Canelo Triple G2 undercard. He was also on the the card with Canelo and Julio Cesar Chavez Jr. Just, I think it was last year, Cinco de Mayo weekend. So basically, that's a fight that I could see them trying to put together. You know, Canelo should be the favorite, but Lemieux has a first round knockout, you know, so I guess they think that erases the, the Billy Joe Saunders performance. But then again, Billy Joe Saunders is in hot water. So, you know, maybe people will excuse that because, you know, he tested positive for something, but that's a whole nother subject. So bottom line, I think Golden Boy would make that. Now, I don't have too much problem with Canelo after two wars and a tough fight with Golovkin and then an, another tough fight with Golovkin taking on a David Lemieux. You know, it's a fun fight. Canelo has a star power to sell it. And you just got through two wars. But I don't want to see that happen at the expense of Jamal Charlo not getting his rightful shot. You know, to be frank, I don't even want to see Canelo versus Triple G three immediately. If they fight, let, let them fight like, you know, like Juan Manuel Marquez and um, Manny Pacquiao did, you know, for the first two or three fights where it was in between a couple years they fought. You know, the first fight happened and then two years passed and, you know, whatever time frame, just go on a box wreck and you'll be able to see it. I remember Marquez was wearing a I beat Pacquiao twice shirt. He had a weight in between those fights. I think the third and the fourth fight were the closest in proximity to each other. But from part one to two and two to three, you know, there was some space in between and they fought other competition. Again, just go to BoxRec to get the specific dates. So I think that should happen here. I really don't even want to see Canelo versus Golovkin. Their styles mesh, mesh up well. Uh, the first was a draw. Some people even had Canelo winning, you know. Now Canelo won. In my opinion, he won fair and square. I didn't really see need for controversy. So I really don't want to see a trilogy. But you know boxing and there's money to be made. And the other guys in the division are big threats for less money. So now we're running into a problem where, you know, I wouldn't put it past the powers that be to try to stall Jamal Charlo out because he's been looking too vicious and too good. And I think it's a big fight for boxing, but obviously trilogies and rematches and fights that have already happened would probably be bigger, especially since people try to make Canelo Triple G2 out to be this really um, controversial outcome, just like the first fight. So I don't know. I don't know. But I, I really don't, you know, I, I don't want to, I really don't want to see it, the trilogy straight away because trilogies like that's not going around. It's like Brandon Rios and Alvarado. Okay. They fought and then they fought again and then they went on to other options. Brandon Rios end up fighting against Pacquiao and Alvarado may have went and fought Juan Manuel Marquez and then they fought in a third fight later on. Something like that I'm good with, but you know, I think it's messed up if Charlo doesn't get the fight in December and then in 2019 Canelo and Triple G have a trilogy and he still doesn't get his fight because that's kind of going against the WBC rules so I hope they don't um, try to strong arm him like that and I hope he doesn't take any step aside money WBC said they wanted him to fight X person you know Jorge Sebastian Highland who was Golovkin's longtime mandatory he did it knocked him out WBC says you got to fight Hugo Centeno Jr. on the Broner Vargas card, and that's your eliminator to get a mandatory position. So now middleweight's popping. I don't want to see a bunch of rematches. You know, like I said, the rematches Canelo Canelo can lose to Charlo hypothetically and go on to fight against Triple G in the future and still make good money. You know, it's not like Canelo or Golovkin now have a a zero they're both they both have losses you know arguably canelo has multiple losses depending on how you scored some of his fights like edislandi lada in the first triple g fight you know what i'm saying so it's not like he has this sacred um like blemish free resume so um man i hope charlo gets his opportunity i think it's messed up you know it's just like the black murderers role back in the day so daniel jacobs he gets to fight uh sergey his former stable mate 
you know, because Triple G got stripped of his IBF belt. So instead of getting the Triple G rematch, he gave Triple G a good fight. So instead of getting that or instead of Derevchenko and, and Triple G, Triple G went on to fight Vanas Matarosin and then fight Canelo. So he gets to skip around, even though Triple G's resume is not really deep. You know, he gets to skip around, not fight his mandatory and Derevchenko and then fight opt to fight a Vanas Matarosin, get stripped of his IBF, then cash in with the money fight, lose, and then now they're talking about Canelo fighting a voluntary defense against anybody of his choice, which if you could pick anybody, why wouldn't you pick David Lemieux, who showed vulnerabilities and is not undefeated, is not as tall as Charlo, doesn't have the same style, and has more of a style tailor made for Canelo the counterpuncher, right? And then now they're talking about Canelo versus Triple G3, and then Charlo was still, you know, it's still undecided what would happen. That's messed up. And I hope Charlo sticks to his guns. And if Canelo vacates his belt to fight Triple G in a, a trilogy, it's going to look bad because it, it's going to show that, you know, Team Canelo is not trying to fight the dangerous option. I mean, you got to look at it. I understand within reason, like if you're Floyd Mayweather, a belt doesn't define you at that, that point. But, you know, Canelo doesn't really have that much. He, he still has more work to do in this new division, you know, because he beat Julio Cesar Chavez Jr. at a weird catch weight, right? And then he has two fights with Triple G, who some people are trying to make it like they're both controversial. So, you know, to me, you're not in a position where you should be vacating belts because of not fighting suitable contenders or, you know, people like Jamal Charlo. So I hope they get this ironed out. I'm waiting for more announcements from the WBC. Um, ideally, if Canelo wants to see this is this is literally Triple G versus Dervinchenko part two. And it's just with Canelo. Triple G had the opportunity to fight Sergey Dervinchenko when Canelo failed his drug test. He could have fought whoever. Right. Because he got an exception. Canelo's out of the fight. Cool. You know. You could have fought anyone voluntary, but they said if you don't fight Dervinchenko next, you have to fight him immediately after that. He chose to not fight Dervinchenko next and still not negotiate with Dervinchenko after that and to chase a money fight with Canelo. And he got stripped of his belt. And that's why Daniel Jacobs and Dervinchenko are now fighting for it. You know what I'm saying? So this is a similar situation where if Triple G would have just, instead of fighting Vanus Matarosin, he could have satisfied his mandatory, got that monkey off his back, which would have been, you know, there would be some risk there because Triple G versus Dervinchenko is a better fight than Vanas Matarosin, right? And then he wouldn't have to worry about being stripped. So as far as I'm concerned, if Canelo gets stripped, it's going to be a bad look. He already vacated his belt and gave it to Golovkin in 2016. So for him to pursue a money fight and not take care of Charlo, then it's not a good look. So he has an option that if he is going to fight in December, you might as well take care of your mandatory. And if you get past Charlo, then you're free to do whatever you want. Rematch Golovkin. But we know how boxing goes. And, you know, if I were to speculate and guess, I would say that they would probably, after two tough fights with Golovkin, opt to put Canelo in there with more so a David Lemieux or someone around that caliber than a Jamal Charlo, who also is an Al Heyman fighter. They would rather work in-house and not have to do with deal with Al Heyman, you know, if they don't have to, even though it's a mandatory. So um, if it got ordered, they would have to. But WBC is saying that it's not going to get ordered for next, for December. Canelo can fight who he wants. So, you know, it's just like the right thing to do would be for if you plan on fighting Golovkin in May, then fight Charlo now because you're not supposed to be fighting really anyway. If you fight a voluntary defense, which they're going to allow for, cool. Fight whoever you want in December. Fight Lemieux. But don't vacate the belt, you know. Fight instead of Triple G. Fight Charlo in May. You know, I'm good with that. If you want to fight David Lemieux, get more experience in the division in December, and then fight Charlo in May. So be it. But I don't want to see Canelo Golovkin three in May and then in December see David Lemieux. You know what I'm saying? So you just, you know, pick and choose and skip around. That's not, you know, how does a champion do that? And especially when you have more work to, to prove and, and more to do. 
Another thing that we need clarification, HBO mentioned they're closing their doors to its boxing department. So what's going to happen? What if Triple G goes to DAZN and Canelo goes to Showtime or ESPN? You know what I'm saying? So there's a couple questions and things that need to be answered. I'm just looking at the different variables and possibilities. And, you know, my instincts telling me one thing and I hope I'm wrong because, again, Charlo needs his opportunity. And I'm sick and tired of boxing and boxing fans on that bullshit talking about who is this guy beat who is charlo beat and then allowing for that person to get skipped around and skipped over you know justifying canelo fighting david lemieux voluntary cool but then fight charlo after that you know so don't justify and, and say canelo should fight david lemieux or or someone similar and then fight triple g in a rematch in three and skip over his mandatory which is a, a good fight a fresh fight and a different stylistic matchup we've seen canelo and golovkin we've seen what golovkin brings to the table twice you know why do we have to see it immediately as a third time like i said that can wait they already made a lot of money in two fights you know let someone else who's deserving get an opportunity and i think they're very interesting fights you know it's a big fight in texas so i'm gonna see how it all plays out that's some early foreshadowing and just different ways this can all play out and i hope the the right thing is done for canelo's reputation and you know just for the sake of being a champion don't fight david lemieux or someone similar and then not fight charlo in may i hope that doesn't happen because again i'm sick of boxing fans saying oh look at errol spence's resume look at charlo's resume look at Char knowing that guys are picking around them so i don't want to hear about look at luis ortiz's resume and these different guys if there's opportunities to fight them and a lot of guys aren't stepping up for that let me know what you guys think drop your thoughts in the comment section make sure you smash the like button as always hate comment and subscribe till next video is ego so if you enjoyed this video and want more content like this on the channel you can show your appreciation by going to the paypal donate button or the youtube support button and you can donate any amount that you feel is equivalent to the value of this video much more to come thank you guys for your support boxing ego the future of boxing. Mm -hmm.